Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is research and its methodology as well as clinical study design. Research. Research is the process of systematically investigating and studying a particular subject or phenomenon, in order to gain a deeper understanding of it. Research can be conducted in a wide variety of fields, including science, technology, medicine, social sciences, and humanities. The goal of research is to increase knowledge and understanding in a specific area, and it is often used to inform decision-making and problem-solving. Research Methodology Research methodology is the process used to conduct research, and includes the various steps and techniques used to design, collect, analyze, and interpret data. It encompasses the overall strategy and plan for a research project, and includes the methods used to gather and analyze data, as well as the theoretical framework that guides the research. Objective of Research Methodology The objective of research methodology is to provide a systematic and structured approach to the research process, in order to ensure that the research is conducted in a rigorous and unbiased manner, and that the results are valid and reliable. Some specific objectives of research methodology include Defining the research question and objectives Designing a plan for data collection and analysis Ensuring the validity and reliability of the research Interpreting and reporting the results Contributing to the knowledge base of a field Clinical study design Clinical study design refers to the plan and methodology used to conduct a clinical research Clinical studies are conducted to evaluate the safety and efficacy of a medical intervention, such as a drug, device, or treatment. The main goal of a clinical study is to determine whether a new intervention is more effective, safer, or has a better outcome than the existing or the standard treatment. Types of Clinical Study Design There are three types of clinical study designs. First. Case Studies. Second. Observational studies, observational studies further have three types of studies, cohort studies, case control studies, and cross-sectional studies. Third, interventional studies, it is of two types, randomized controlled trials, RCTs, and non-randomized controlled trials, non-RCTs. Now I'll explain only about the case studies. The remaining two types will be discussed in upcoming videos. Case studies. Case studies involve the detailed study of a specific individual or group of individuals in a medical setting. They are used to gain insight into a particular disease or condition. Case studies are often used in clinical research to study rare or unusual cases, and to understand the underlying mechanisms of a disease or condition. They allow for the examination of the unique experiences and perspectives of individual patients, and can provide a detailed understanding of the patient's illness experience, treatment course, and outcomes. Case studies typically involve collecting data through interviews, physical examinations, medical imaging, and laboratory tests. This data is then analyzed to provide a detailed and in-depth understanding of the patient's illness experience, treatment course, and outcomes. Advantages and Disadvantages of Case Studies Advantages Provide rich, detailed information about the individual or group being studied. Useful for understanding complex phenomena or conditions that are difficult to study using other methods. Disadvantages They are often based on small sample sizes, which can limit the generalizability of the findings. Case studies are often based on self-reported information, which can be subject to bias and inaccuracies. Thank you for watching support the channel by giving a like. Thank you.